Good morning, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, sorry about the smoke. It is uh, about 32 degrees this morning and uh, still working on this office here. But uh, listen, want to talk to you real quick about some breaking news. Also let you know that we are, I'll be actually on this morning, a, a roundtable meeting with uh, Dr. June Knight and Brock Knight. Uh, I think at 10 a.m. And uh, let's see, be speaking there tentatively. I will be speaking there tomorrow. I don't think that's necessarily open to the public. I was going to be speaking today, but uh, my wife has been not been feeling very well. So we have to kind of back that up just a little bit. Uh, so I want to update you guys just in case uh, anybody had made any kind of plans there. So uh, real quick. And, uh, and, and also this morning, I am doing a resurrection message. And I trust it's going to really be a blessing to you. Uh, that'll be everywhere on our broadcast, uh, Patreon, Danoon Institute, you name it. Uh, I'm just really excited about that message there because uh, just some really interesting things that I want to share with you guys. All right, let's get right into it. As we had reported, uh, Joe Biden, of course, a couple of weeks ago, we had shared with you how that, uh, uh, in fact, let me just, let me see if I can find that real quick for you. He had actually uh, um, went to Ukraine and he was, uh, um, actually you can see one of the articles I have there, Ukraine honors Biden deal sends tanks to Crimea. That was three days ago I reported that one there. Yeah, 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 right? So, uh, but anyway there, let's go to Israeli News Live. Let's get over here on this channel here uh, and take a closer look at things here. Kind of get rid of the volume here for a moment. Um, and I want to take and share with you when I actually spoke of that. Biden makes deal with Ukraine to provoke Russia. Yeah, a week ago. Here we go, right here. Uh, we were getting breaking news uh, coming right out of Ukraine. And uh, that was on March the 22nd there. So, oh, wow, gosh, it's been more than a week ago. So we have we had 31 days in this month. So we had nine, nine days plus three. So almost two weeks ago, we actually broadcast this. And I'll put the link in the description below for you that Biden had made a deal with the Ukrainian government to send troops and tanks and things like that over to the border with uh, Crimea, Donetsk, Luhansk, and make it look like they're going to take back those areas. Um, let me see. I'm trying to get the right spots here. Here we go right here. Um, and this this is one example here of him sending tanks in towards uh, Crime, uh, Crimea. Uh, also, uh, we had uh, several others. Now, this one here is Russia sending its own tanks and stuff uh, into Crimea after, after, get this now, after Joe Biden had worked out this deal to get the Ukrainian government to send troops to provoke Russia. Now, as I was told, and this is right from the top inside a uh, little Biden secret deal that he was working on there, uh, this is all about the Nord Stream 2 pipeline that Russia was going to be running through Ukraine uh, that would also save Ukrainians millions of dollars on their gas bill. But no, we got to make sure Joe Biden gets his deal in there instead, provokes Russia, pushes Russia out of the way. Well, that's what's happening. And so now we have now the, the, uh, the Ukrainian government has started the provocation here, as we uh, have right here. Uh, just in massive blasts hurt in Luhansk, Ukraine. And now something is on fire. Uh, and I got this. I want to thank uh, Bonnie Harvey. Uh, Bonnie, we do the broadcast uh, there on uh, Hebrew Nation. And that broadcast there, we, we were speaking just last night about this, or a couple of days ago, about this very issue uh, with Ukraine, as I had also brought out on the broadcast here. So, yeah, it is heating up. Uh, the situation is going to get really bad. A lot of civilians have been killed in these blasts. Bonnie had kind of updated me on that already. And uh, so I quickly was looking this morning to see the different things that are going on. Uh, they're never going to tell you the truth about what's really going on. Uh, in fact, for example, what was this one? Uh, oh, by the way, yeah, you guys probably already know that. Capital shooting that was taking place uh, yesterday there. They do have the guy. Uh, I think they already captured him. Some officers were shot. Uh, very sad situation there, but uh, you know they're just up to some crazy stuff. I mean, to tell you, here we, I think it is right here we go. This is the article I wanted to share with you here, right? Um, President Joe Biden continues hardline against Russia, offers Ukraine unwavering support. Oh yeah, 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 sure. 
Joe Biden wants to start a war with Ukraine is what it's going to ultimately be. Now, I was told from those folks that know the president personally that they don't really want a war with Russia. They're just wanting to get Russia to drop the Nord Stream 2 pipeline so that Israel and the United States can get their pipeline instead. Uh, and I haven't had a chance yet. I got an email from a good friend of mine in Israel uh, speaking about that exact same issue there. Let me see if I can find there. There's some, oh, this is the one I wanted to show you. This is what I was looking for. Dean O'Brien on Twitter posted this right here. Uh, he's posting the article from the Times from yesterday. Russia deploys 4,000 troops to Ukraine border. But notice what Dean says. The main news in the Times today is that Russia is stationing 4,000 troops on the border with Ukraine. The author does not write about the fact that the Ukraine Armed Forces has been transferring tanks to the Donbass for a week and shelling, it, shelling it, uh, its own civilians for eight years. Kudos to you, Dean O'Brien. Uh, that is so, so true. Uh, <laughs> gee, my neck, this is absolutely nuts, right? I mean, it's the same thing it was originally, just like when they say, oh, Russia come in and took Crimea and everything. Well, it was only after uh, Ukraine was over there massacring the Ukrainian civilians that were, you know, Russian descent. They don't ever tell you the truth of these things. Uh, this is actually why I took up for Russia during the times of the Ukraine crisis, because there was so much that was never told to the public as all lies. Uh, it's not to say that Putin is not part of the New World Order plan and scheme. I really believe he is. But at the same time, uh, even though he may be part of that plan and part of that scheme, one thing I have to give uh, uh, give uh, President Putin credit for, and that is he cares about his own. And he cares about his, his citizens. Uh, he made the bunkers to where all of his citizens could be put in bunkers when this Third World War breaks out. Uh, you know, he really does care. And he cares about the ethnic Russians that live in Ukraine. And so this is why he did what he did. Now, granted, strategically is yes, absolutely. Black Sea, Crimea. You have to remember Crimea was part of Russia initially. So uh, President Putin, he took liberty to take it. And he also, uh, he refused to take Eastern Ukraine but he has been willing to help protect them, give them support. Even they're using Russian rubles as their economy in Donetsk and Luhansk. Uh, they declared their independence. And now Putin has promised, you know, if you're going to mess with us, we're going to take it all the way to Kiev. So don't be surprised. At any rate, those are the breaking news there. Don't forget, watch out for the uh, broadcast going to be doing about the uh, resurrection. And a lot of people, are, they especially getting into... The Hebrew roots, things like that. Uh, they like to say Passover, things like that. Listen to me. <laughs> oh, boy. Hear that message there. It may just make you really appreciate what Jesus has done for you. Uh, so whether you're a believer or not, I know there's a lot of people that are, uh, they only go to church once a year. It's normally around Easter uh, uh, or Passover, whichever. The same thing with synagogues. They, uh, a lot of people can only go to the synagogue when Passover time comes. Uh, high holidays, things like that. So I think... You really owe it to yourself regardless. Uh, I say that because if you only kind of get into the religious things a little bit, that's one message I really encourage you to listen to. Uh, I'm going to uh, record that right now just as soon as I get this one here loaded. Blessings to you and thank you. Thank you, by the way, for your support of Israeli News Live.